Amway is the OG MLM company that has laid the groundwork in society for the countless pyramid schemes masquerading as legitimate businesses that we have today. From rubbing shoulders with the president to investing millions of dollars in political lobbying to the prosperity gospel preached by Amway's leaders to their downlines. Amway is quite literally the head of the monster. So imagine my surprise when recently I was at a coffee shop with a friend of mine and I had this box with me full of documents from an MLM company that I'm looking into and I get in there and I sit down at the table and I'm ready to get into it and my friend goes, wait, don't say anything, I'm gonna text you. And from across this tiny little table, he texts me and the message says, I think the lady next to us is in Amway. And I thought, no way was I about to get into this whole tirade about this pyramid scheme that I'm investigating and sitting right next to us is someone from Amway. So we moved tables and I asked my friend, how do you know she's in Amway? And he said, because I was in Amway when I was like 16 and the bottle of water that she's drinking from is an Amway brand of water called Perfect Water. So I thought, okay, maybe she's not in Amway. Maybe she just knows someone who's in Amway and she bought the water from them or maybe she just likes the water. So the next thing I looked at was the book she was reading. I could see the title of the book she was reading and it was called Win the Day. And I found a website, goodreads.com, which has a whole list called Popular Amway Books. The magic of thinking big, the compound effect, promises to keep, the Amway phenomenon and how it works, who moved my cheese, and then win the day. So I thought, okay, we got her. She's in Amway. But I didn't know if she was a brand new recruit waiting for her mentor to come join her at the coffee shop or if she was the recruiter looking for people to prospect at this coffee shop. 10 minutes go by, 20 minutes go by, 30 minutes goes by and nobody joins her. After that, I sort of stopped looking over periodically to check on her because she was just sitting there reading her book. After about 15 more minutes of me just talking to my friend, I remember to look over at the Amway lady and what do you know, there she is sitting there striking up a conversation with the young girl that was sitting at the table next to her. Now, I know for a fact that they didn't know each other already because first of all, the Amway lady was probably in her mid thirties and the girl she was talking to looked to be in her early twenties and they weren't even sitting at the same table. Like, like the young girl could have sat across from the Amway lady if they were already friends, but she was at the next table over sitting next to her. They were sitting close enough that if I really focused, I could hear what they were saying, but there was a lot of other people in the coffee shop, so it was loud. So I had to do my best to piece together the words that I did pick up with the lip reading that I was trying to do. I could tell the way the conversation was going, just the flow of it and the body language that the Amway lady would present some proposition. Oh, what do you like to eat, for example? And then the girl would say something and she would respond, oh yeah, well I, it was a lot of this hand movements, like you and me, you do this, I do this. A lot of sort of fabricating relatability for this girl who's probably 15 years younger than her, who she doesn't know. Eventually, I noticed the Amway lady go, oh, okay, well, I should probably get going, but you're really cool, we should keep in touch, let me get your information. And she gives her phone to the girl, and the girl puts in her number and hands it back, and I thought, wow. To any other person who doesn't know about multi-level marketing, who doesn't know about the cold market prospecting techniques that they use, for someone who didn't know that Perfect Water was an Amway product, or that this book was an Amway book, Look, any other person that I would explain this to would think I am crazy for pointing out anything other than what they saw, which is two people became friends, but I knew the truth. I know the truth. I knew there was something more sinister behind this. I knew there was an ulterior motive to this Amway woman's decision to strike up a conversation and exchange information. Like, you don't know her. You don't know this girl who's much younger than you. Like, th there's no real reason for you guys to become friends other than you forced it into existence. I wanted to be absolutely certain that I wasn't leaving anything up to assumption and that this lady was in fact trying to recruit that girl into Amway. So as she left the coffee shop, I followed behind her and before she was even in the parking lot, like literally outside the coffee shop door, just there on the sidewalk, I confronted her and I recorded the interaction on my phone. Hello, Hello. how are you? Good, thanks, how are you doing? Good, good, sorry to um, interrupt you or just randomly approach you. Yeah. Um, my name is Marco and I uh, just wanted to inquire with you because I noticed your book yeah. that you were reading. Yeah. I know that that is a book that you read as part of your onboarding process with Amway. Oh. And the, the water that you have is an Amway Yeah, yeah, product. yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. What I do is I help educate people about uh, potential scams or opportunities that they have been pitched that they might that might end up hurting them and i just want to let you know that if you ever have any questions about 
Amway or if you feel like there are things that you hear from uplines or people like that that don't seem to quite add up and you are feeling some sort of like internal conflict about it, I just wanted to offer that you can you can ask me and I'll lend you an ear. And I talk to hundreds of people and uh, I've been doing this for a few years and uh, this is my full time full-time yeah, career yeah so i've been around it for 15 years so okay what do you know about it okay I, I noticed you dropped the message with the girl who is uh oh. sitting there next to you i was uh, just asking her about her own life but yeah anyways, i know go ahead no no I, I i recognize that that's a uh you don't know her and yeah. it's a that's a it's cold market uh prospect and you got her contact information and i i know i recognize the funnel and how it opens and uh sure. as you could tell yeah i mean i know you're probably surprised right now that i even perceived any of these things the book the water the uh contact sure sure and, so what um, do you know about the corporation I, I know a lot about the corporation. It's yeah. one of the oldest companies. The DeVos Van Andel family started them. I know all about the history. Yeah. Um, uh, my friend Robert Fitzpatrick is the author of a book called Ponzinomics that details the history of uh, multi-level marketing. I, I just try to help people. I, I don't want to say anything to you that you might interpret as offensive or an attack on, on mean, or your, no. your company at all. I just try to help people. It is an industry so where uh, annually 99.9% of people lose. These companies rely on a mathematically impossible endless chain recruiting model. And I try to help people oh, from that. And I, what do you I, mean by the recruiting model? Well, for Amway, yeah. the downlines yeah. correlate to how much money you can make whether it's uh, selling starter kits or commissions on the products themselves, unlocking higher commissions based on how many people you have under you, things of that nature. I actually have a, a video that details using math how if you, for example, recruited five people who then recruited five people, that model could only repeat 12 cycles before you expended the entire population of the earth. So I'm not sure if you actually know, but it's not based on recruiting. Okay. So there's no profit at all for someone who sponsors someone in business? Technically, that is true, yes. But yeah. of course, I, I am also aware that it is set up in such a way that the recruiting is immediately incentivized as the true money maker. So you, like, I agree with you, you don't have to recruit, but I know, I know the game. I know that that is what the heart of the, the machine is. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. No, just, yeah. you obviously don't see a value in the value it can add. You're more as the value that is educating people yeah. about how it could not be beneficial. So we're on different pages. Sure. I see value, you see don't. Yeah. Yeah, have a great That's day. That's fair. You as well. Now, earlier during that interaction, you heard me say that I saw her drop the message. In Amway, drop the message is sort of code for prospecting, spreading the word, dropping the message. The next thing you might have picked up on was there was a couple moments where this lady acted completely naive to the thing she had just done. Like in the very beginning, I said, I noticed that your book is an Amway book and your water is an Amway water. And at first she's like, oh, oh, uh. And then when I said the water, she's like, oh, yeah, 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 it is. Then later, she tells me she's been in the company 15 years. So why did you start by going, oh, like you didn't know? The next example of this feigned naivety that she was bullshitting me with was when she said, oh, I was just asking her about her life. After this interaction, I went back inside and I went to the girl that was sitting there and I said to her, hey, sorry, this is the second time now that you've been approached by a stranger. I just wanna let you know, that lady, she was only pretending to be your friend. She's with a company called Amway. She just admitted to me in the parking lot that she's been doing it for 15 years. She is trying to recruit you into this life-changing opportunity. Delete her number, block her number, don't do it. And of course, I showed her my channel so that she knew I wasn't just some random creep. And she was like, oh, thanks, thanks for letting me know. And just because I was morbidly curious, I asked the girl, I said, how did she strike up the conversation? What did she say to you? She goes, yeah, she said that she liked my iPad. <laughs> just, of course, of course she, of course she liked your iPad, you know? I love those shoes. Hey, you ever thought about making money on the side? This is the most cookie cutter type shit you could do as an MLM prospector. And it's sad, it's really, it's dehumanizing because it makes you as the recruiter start to look at everyone as like this commodity. You're just looking at everyone as a mark, as a potential recruit for your downline. And it causes you to, I mean, that's why they came up with the term Hunbot, because you're not really connecting with people like a real human. You're more like a robot or a zombie. You're just trying to get to the point where they are in on this with you. It's completely deceptive. You're faking 
like you give a shit about their iPad or their shoes or whatever else they were talking about. Next, when I was talking to the Amway lady outside, you notice she started out by being like, oh, blah, 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 acting like she knew nothing about what I was talking about. Then halfway through, she goes, what do you know about the organization? Like she's trying to gauge where I'm at to then revealing that she's been in it 15 years to finally being actually opposed to me. This all happened in a very short couple of minutes. So it was really fascinating to listen back to the audio and realize how deep in this mental game she was. But at the end she says, So I'm not sure if you actually know, but it's not based on recruiting. Think about the irony of her telling me this when I literally just saw her recruiting. The only reason we're having this conversation right now is because I saw you recruiting. And now here we are in the parking lot. You're going to tell me it's actually not about recruiting. Lady, you literally just came to this busy coffee shop by yourself and sat here for an hour waiting for the opportunity to recruit someone. And as soon as you got the girl's phone number, you left. You could have read your book and drank your water bottle at home. I'm sure it would have been a better environment than this noisy coffee shop to sit there and innocently read your book if that was your only intention. And you know, the most truly messed up thing about this whole thing is I think she actually believes everything she said. After 15 years, I have to imagine that it's become so second nature to her that she doesn't even notice what she's doing. And after this experience, I was sort of beside myself because I was like, I just happened to be here today. This woman has been doing this 15 years. How many people has she recruited that I wasn't there to tell them, hey, delete that person's number. There are dozens of coffee shops all around the city. If I imagine that this happens even once per day at every one of those coffee shops, it's a staggering amount of people that are being deceptively recruited into these multi-level marketing companies. For all I know, this Amway woman does this every day. This is just part of her daily routine to come over to this coffee shop. I don't know, it was the first time I'd been there. How do I know? And the girl who was being prospected, I asked her, do you know about multi-level marketing companies? Do you know what a pyramid scheme is? She had no idea. She said she was 21 years old and she was sitting there doing her homework for university on her iPad. I said, that's great. Just keep focusing on what you're studying. Don't get distracted. If you don't block that lady's number, she's gonna text you probably tomorrow and invite you to some party or get together. And when you get there, it's going to be a presentation with a bunch of other people for Amway and this opportunity that can change your life. So I had to share this story with you guys. Please be vigilant. And if you see this happening to other people when you're at a Starbucks or wherever, please speak up. Even if you don't feel comfortable intervening in the moment, if you have the opportunity after the recruiter leaves, please say something. And please keep sharing videos like this so that your friends and family can spot these opportunities when they get approached with them. If you wanna learn more about Amway and the history of multi-level marketing, I have an affiliate link in the description to buy Ponzinomics. And if you wanna support me so I can continue making these videos, consider joining the Patreon or becoming a channel member on YouTube. Thanks.